Hello, I'm Jan Sedway, Senior Clinical Scientist at Verisci, and I would like to tell you about the Movement Disorder Society Unified Parkinson's Disease Rating Scale, or the MDS-UPDRS, as it is performed on Pathway, Verisci's tablet-based ECOA. The MDS-UPDRS is used to evaluate both the non-motor and motor experiences of daily living for patients with Parkinson's disease. It consists of four parts. Verisai's implementation of this scale simplifies the data entry process and aids in performing calculations. The interview section of the MDS-UPDRS, as it is performed on Pathway, features automatic audio recording on each page. Audio recordings are automatically uploaded to Verisize secure servers by the Pathway device. These recordings can be evaluated by Verisize expert reviewers who can provide feedback to the clinician regarding their administration techniques. A flowchart is presented in Part 1A to guide the clinician through the interview process and to help the clinician choose the most accurate anchor point for each item. If an item does not apply to the subject or cannot be rated for any reason, the clinician can select the Unable to Rate option instead of providing a rating. Part 1B and Part 2 both contain items that are completed directly by the patient or caregiver. These PRO sections are easy to navigate, and the font size can be increased for studies with populations that have visual impairment issues. The MDS-UPDRS, as it is performed on Pathway, requires that certain items be completed before the clinician can progress in the assessment. The device will provide a warning message to the subject or informant if they attempt to navigate away from a page without completing these required items. Part 3 of the MDS-UPDRS is used to assess the motor signs of Parkinson's disease and is completed by the clinician. This portion of the assessment features yes and no branching. It will automatically change certain items to become required items depending on the responses to the preceding items. Part 3 also contains an on-off rating for the patient, which indicates whether they are currently on medication to treat their Parkinson's symptoms. If the clinician responds affirmatively that the patient is currently taking levodopa, the tablet will automatically require the clinician to indicate the total minutes since the patient's last levodopa dose. The clinician can freely navigate among the various ratings pages for Part 3. When the score summary page is reached at the end of the examination, the device will present a warning message if any required items have not been completed. To revisit any incomplete pages, the clinician simply taps the title of the page in the navigation ribbon or the score summary, and the device will navigate directly to that page. Part 4 of the MDS-UPDRS is used to assess dyskinesias in motor fluctuations that include off-state dystonia. The clinician enters the number of hours the patient typically spends awake and then records how many of those hours include dyskinesias in off-state dystonia. After the clinician enters a value for total hours awake and total hours off, Pathway will automatically pre-populate subsequent items which ask for these values. Pathway will only accept values up to 24 hours for the total hours fields. If a value is entered that is greater than 24, Pathway will present a message indicating the error. If the clinician accidentally enters a value in the field for total hours with dyskinesia, total hours off, or total hours with dystonia that is greater than the value entered in total hours awake, Pathway will show an error message indicating that the values are in conflict. When the clinician correctly completes these fields, Pathway will automatically calculate the percentage of time the patient experiences each motor complication during these waking hours. With its intuitive interface, 
automatic calculations, and data quality checks. The MDS-UPDRS on Verisize Pathway ECOA is a robust tool for evaluating the experiences of patients with Parkinson's disease. Contact us today to find out how Verisci can help ensure accurate and timely collection of data for your clinical trials. This video incorporates the MDS-UPDRS, which is owned and licensed by the International Parkinson and Movement Disorder Society. Permission to reproduce the MDS-UPDRS in an electronic format and in this presentation was granted by MDS, the copyright holder. Reproduction and use of this material does not constitute as an endorsement by MDS. Copyright 2016 International Parkinson and Movement Disorder Society. All rights reserved.